In the blink of an eye, a night that began like any other turned into a tragedy that would shake a community to its core. Mackenzie Sharilla, a teenager with her whole life ahead of her, now finds herself behind bars, her future forever altered by one fateful decision. Charged with the lives of her boyfriend and another passenger, lost in a catastrophic crash that defies belief. Speeding at 100 miles per hour, the consequences of her actions are irrevocable, leaving a community in mourning and a nation asking why. What drives a young life down a path of such devastating recklessness? What lessons can we learn from a tragedy that seems both senseless and preventable? Join us as we delve into the story behind the headlines, seeking answers in the aftermath of a night that changed everything. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, so you won't miss any future videos we upload. This is Mackenzie Sharilla, who killed boyfriend in 160 kilometer H crash. We're learning more about the two young men killed in a horrific crash yesterday morning. In the quiet suburbs where tranquility reigns and darkness hides secrets, the story of Mackenzie Sharilla unfolds, a narrative that blurs the lines between love, obsession, and the unthinkable. This tale, steeped in horror and suspense, journeys into the heart of a darkness so profound it chills the soul. At the tender age of 19, she faced the somber judgment of the law, convicted and sentenced for steering her destiny and that of others toward irrevocable darkness. This was not reckless driving. This was murder. With deliberate intent, she propelled her car into a brick wall at a harrowing speed of 160 kilometer, a decision that extinguished the lives of her boyfriend and a friend in an instant. In an extraordinary twist of fate that defies belief, a teenage girl becomes embroiled in a harrowing murder case, catapulting her car at a death-defying speed of 100 miles per hour directly into a solid brick barrier. The devastating impact claims the lives of her 20-year-old boyfriend Dominic Russo and their 19-year-old friend Davian Flanagan, who was tragically seated in the rear of the vehicle. Captured on surveillance footage, the chilling sound of Mackenzie's car tears through the air like a missile before meeting its explosive end against the brick wall. The courtroom heard peculiar details of that night, including Mackenzie's choice of footwear, fuzzy Prada slippers, while the accelerator was floored to its maximum hinting at the sheer force behind the vehicle's fatal acceleration. Miraculously, Mackenzie emerged from the wreckage alive. The prosecution painted a grim picture, suggesting Mackenzie was not merely involved in an accident, but was executing a meticulously planned act of murder-suicide. They revealed she had even undertaken a rehearsal of this deadly drive days before the tragic event, signaling a premeditated path to destruction. The prosecution delved into the turbulent dynamics of Sharila's relationship with Russo, shedding light on the threatening behavior she exhibited towards him in the weeks preceding the tragic incident. Witnesses testified that Sharila had ominously warned of crashing her car during a heated argument with Russo, a chilling prophecy that materialized just two weeks later. This testimony, coupled with compelling video evidence, played a crucial role in the deliberations of Cuyahoga County Common Pleas, Judge Nancy Margaret Russo during the sentencing on August 14, 2023. If you review that exhibit, you know that you are watching oncoming deaths of two people, and there's nothing that will stop you. As Judge Russo articulated her pre-sentencing remarks, Mackenzie Sharilla was overwhelmed by emotion, her tears flowing freely as the gravity of her situation became painfully clear. Highlighting the calculated nature of Sharila's actions, the judge noted her deliberate reconnaissance of the crash site, an unusual and seldom traveled route, days before the calamity. This pointed to a sinister level of premeditation, underscoring her awareness of the potential harm her actions could inflict, not just on the vehicle's occupants, but also on innocent bystanders. In a poignant conclusion, Judge Russo, bearing no familial connection to Dominic Russo, unequivocally declared Sharila's intent to murder her boyfriend, condemning her actions in no uncertain terms. Mackenzie Sharila was found guilty of the murders of Dominic Russo and Davian Flanagan, receiving two concurrent sentences of 15 years to life. 
The moment the verdict was announced, Sharila's distress erupted into uncontrollable weeping. Handcuffed and escorted from the courtroom, her journey from a defendant's seat to a state correctional facility marked the grim end of a saga that left indelible scars on all involved. Thank you for joining us on this intriguing journey into the shadows of crime and justice. Remember, the stories we share are not just tales of caution, but reminders of the resilience and complexity of the human spirit. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and join us next time as we continue to uncover the mysteries that lurk behind the headlines. Until then, keep your eyes open and your curiosity alive. This is Crime Chronicles, signing off. Stay safe, everyone.